All right, tonight we're going to be looking at the uh, HP, the HP Pavilion DV9000. And what we have going on here is, as you can see in the very background here, let me click on that, see if you can get it, okay. So in the background you can see right, right here, here, and here is the box of um, my window, right? Well, anyway, my backlight is not working. Um, I'm having some trouble with it here, so I'm going to show you how to um, repair the backlight or just see if it's a uh, loose connection inside the computer. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to power it down um, and we're going to take off the battery. All right, now we're at the uh, the back of the laptop here, and let's go ahead and eject the um, the battery here. So just fling that over to the the right there. Pull off the battery here. You can set that off to the um, the side. And now what we're going to do here is we see one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and unscrew all of those right now. And as you can see, these screws are pretty small. So I'll have a link in the description box where you can pick up a little tool kit where you can get a small little screwdriver like this. All right, all six are out. So now let's flip it back over. All right, what you want to do now here is just get your fingernails and I kind of pried up the first bit a little bit, but um, right here you just want to get your fingernail right under this little edge here, and this will pop up. There's a couple tabs right there, and on the other side as well, just get your fingernail under there, pop that up, and your whole little tray will remove, but be, be careful because you still have a ribbon right in the middle right here that we have to be careful with. So what you want to do is you want to just fold it backwards like this so the ribbon stays intact right there and it looks like this now. If you want to remove this panel just to get it out of your way then what all you have to do here is take uh, one thumbnail here on this side and it just squeezes out and then the other thumbnail on this side being careful, sorry it's a little hard with the camera in my hand. And then the uh, ribbon lets go, and then you bring that on up and out. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove five screws to remove the bezel. And the bezel is gonna be the black thing that goes all the way around the bottom to the top here. So up here, you're gonna see these little black little things here. Just take your fingernail and peel them up. They're just little sticky sticky things there and put them off to the uh, put them off to the side there so again you're going to have one you're going to have uh, two right here by the microphone you're going to have three down here four over here five so remove all those things and unscrew the screws okay now that you have all five screws out two on the bottom three on the top and they're right over here I line them up so I know how to put them back. And the easiest thing to do here is you have to slip your fingers in very carefully here. And I just pulled it out just because I couldn't do it with one hand on the camera. But And you very gently come down here and you'll hear the plastic pop. And so there's little uh, plastic inserts. And so you just come, on, come around and, and pop it out with your finger in between. But be careful not to uh, scratch the, uh, the screen. All right, when you come down here to the bottom, just kind of seep your finger in there, you know, like I said, but be gentle and just kind of bring it up nice and gentle. Make sure you don't, you know, pull it too hard. And then it'll come up. There is the bezel. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side there. And now at the very center here, we are looking at the inverter. And so again, for this video, I'm going to be looking at why my screen, screen turns dim. Um, it starts blinking and then turns dim the backlight. So I'm going to look for a loose connection, or I'm going to uh, replace it myself. And this is what the other side looks like. You have one, you have one connection here, so I'm going to um, make sure that one is uh, connected properly. And then over here to the left, you have one connection here as well. So I'll push that in and make sure that's connected properly. I might even uh, disassemble it and reassemble it just in case a piece of dust or anything like that has gotten onto the connection uh, uh, piece there. And disconnecting these is a breeze. You just kind of get your fingernail on the edges here and just be careful. 
and then wiggle it away very carefully and noticing that the top is smooth white the bottom has little pins on the bottom okay so what the symptoms are in the DV9000 here is what we're looking at is the screen will light up upon start but then it will just shut off and you can still see with a flashlight held up to it you can still see the windows you can still use the mouse and find everything but there's no backlight so two symptoms are it's going to be the inverter um, and replace this. This is your cheapest option right here and uh, that should be the part number there. Um, or your next option after you replace this, if that does not help, if you don't find a loose connection, that's probably the cheapest way. See if there's a loose connection, dust it off with a spray air can duster. Um, try that. If not, replace the inverter number two. If that doesn't work, you're going to have to replace the backlight on the screen here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to get into that right now. The, uh, the right side of the inverter here, this one's a little bit more trickier, so just be careful and wiggle, wiggle it back and out. Alright, so here's your inverter right here, out and about, with the left side prong here, the right side prong here. Alright, now we're going to proceed and take off the screen once our inverter has already been out. So down here where my finger is, we have one, two, three screws and one, two, three screws. We're gonna take all six of those out. Okay, now carefully, you're just gonna prop back the plastic top cover here. As you see down here, we're gonna lower down the screen here to have a look at the back of it. And again, there is our top of our laptop, the plastic piece here. As you can see, now you can barely see it here, not the yellowish tape, but right on top is this clear double sticking tape. It starts right here where my fingernail is, goes right here. You're going to pry that up so it's not sticking to here and here, and then we're going to release the cable. We're going to knock it back here and here and then release it again right here. And be careful because when I pulled that up, it slipped right out. So be very careful not to tear it. Just lift up that tape and slide that ribbon back and pull it up. So let's remove this tape as well to free the screen completely. Okay, with that removed, now this is completely free and clear here. And if you like, without bending the cable, but just take that other side of the sticky tape and stick it right there to get it out of the way there. Now we're going to come over here to the right of the screen here and right here up here is a screw. We got to remove that one and then also this one down here. Same thing on the other side. One right here and then one down here. Remove all four. Okay and once all four screws are out on the sides here be very careful because the screen's going to drop on you because now it's not connected to those side rails now. So if it's uh, your screen isn't broken you want to be very careful. I'm just showing you how to take the uh, the screen off here so okay and now just be careful and you're free and clear and that is our screen there and some other people report problems with their their hinges they um, become loose so the first thing you want to do if they're really loose is you just tighten them right here but um, if they're broken or cracked then you just remove this screw and then one screw there, one screw there, watch these cables, dig them out, pop it out and put the new ones in, and then you'll have some new hinges there. Again, the culprit of the problem, you're going to have three options. You're going to have a frayed ribbon by chance. That's probably not it. Most likely it's going to be the either the inverter or it's going to be the backlight on your actual screen. So this is the cheaper route to go. If that doesn't work, then you're going to have to replace the whole entire screen, which is a little pricey. Okay, for this video, I'm going to make it real simple. So um, I don't have my new screen or inverter yet, but I'm going to act like I do so I can show you how to put it all back together. So first thing we do is we've got to put our screen back in uh, their area right here. And we need to screw on those screws. All right, one, two, three four screws are back in. Now we're going to carefully put this pin 
back in this slot right here. The easiest thing to do is put your fingernail right on this little black tab, put your thumb right here, squeeze in this side, and then squeeze in that side nice and tight. Lay that tape back down, and then I'm going to also re-tape the ribbon here with some clear tape to hold that part down as well. Now we want to also put the uh, back cover back on here and fold it up. And we're going to screw in our three screws over here, three screws back in over here. Alright, with all three back in, one, two, three, right side, one, two, three. Let's proceed to the next step. So now we're going to put our inverter back in, plug in this side, and plug in this side over here. Okay, now with our slots uh, back in there to the left and to the right here, clipped in, we're going to flip over the bezel, and you see this little tab right here, and right here, we'll see these little holes right here. Your inverter is going to slip into that one, and then it's going to slip into that one right there, and then we're going to put on our bezel. Okay, now just adjust the bezel back into place, and then just push down with your thumb all the way around, locking it in. You're going to hear some pops, but that's okay. Normal, all the way around, nice and tight. All right, now you're going to screw in all one, two, three, four, and the fifth screw here, right next to the microphone hole. These ones here. Okay, now you're going to put back your little wedges, and again, the little small flat one. They go down here at the bottom, and your more larger, rounder ones, they go in the holes up top. Now we're going to take this again, we're going to flip it upside down, and we're going to reconnect our ribbon right to the, uh, the port here. Alright, with the ribbon connected back in, and our little brown connector pressed back into the white one. Let's go ahead and flip it on back over. Pressing in on the sides here. We're going to lock it down there and here and there. Now on the back side we're going to come back to the battery here and we're going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six screws that are these color here, the little silver ones. All right, all screws are in. Now let's put in our battery. And we're done. All right, guys, that was how to take apart a HB Pavilion DV9000 and replace the uh, screen or inverter or check your connections for your backlight issues. I hope you guys had a good time. I did filming this and figuring it out. And... Uh, Good luck on your computer repair. And please subscribe if you haven't already for some more up-and-coming videos that are going to be just amazing. Take care, guys.